Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In this video, I am going to cover content fragment model. So there are actually two types of fragments. It can be either simple fragments, which we have already created and we have already used, uh, which provides the rich text editor. And the second one is fragments that contain structured content. So these are based on content fragment model, which predefines the structure for the fragment. So in this video, we will cover this content fragment model. This content fragment model was introduced in AM 6.4, so you won't find it in AM 6.2 and 6.3. So you have to use AM 6.4 only to use this feature. And it defines the structure of the content for your content fragments. That means you can create your content fragment using content fragment models also. Content fragment work as a template for structured content fragment. That means, let's see, if I go to this content fragment and when I create my content fragment, so you will find that only one template is available here, which is called simple fragment. If I will use content fragment model, then I can create one more template, dif uh, different kind of template to define the structure of content using content fragment model. So while, while creating content fragment model, there are actually three steps involved. First, you need to enable the content fragment model from configuration manager. Second one is you have to apply configurations to your assets folder. And the third one is after that, we can create our content fragment model. Let's see how you can perform the first step. First, we will enable this content fragment model from configuration manager. Go to your AEM. So in your AEM, go to the tools. Here within this general, you will find this configuration browser. Here, go to create. Create a configuration and name it as demo content fragment model and here enable content fragment models click on create so your configuration has been created successfully now the second step is to apply configurations to your assets folder so let's do this go to the assets here we have this assets and we have files and our assets are stored in demo training this demo site Click on here and here this is our content fragment folder and go to the properties. So in the properties go to the cloud services and here select this demo kernel fragment model which we have created from the configuration browser. Click on select. It has been selected now save and close it so we are done with our second step this means we have applied the configurations to our assets folder now in the third step is now we can create content fragment model so let's do this go back go to the tools and now go to the assets you will find the option of creating content fragment model. Let's click on this. It has been created demo content fragment model. Open it and now create your model here and give it a name demo model. Click on create. Done. Now let's edit this demo model. In the right panel, you can see the data types. We have single line text, multi line text, number, boolean. You can all, you can use all these features. Only you have to do, you can drag and drop the data types here. Provide a property name. Multi lines, you can also delete this. And you can add some more. So this way you can structure your component in these fields. Label. You can also provide the placeholder. You can see the placeholder typing here. Similarly, you can also use the number. You can name it number. And uh, suppose I want to use this chat box. You can also use that. You can define the property here. Chat box. Let's default be true. Now click on save. This way I can design the template for my content fragment. So this is ready now. 
let's go back to the assets again in the assets go to the files go to the demo site content fragment and here when I will create a content fragment again then you will find one more template which is demo model which I have created using content fragment model functionality you can select this you can click on next let's name it CFM content fragment model click on create it's done. It's done now. Let's open it. To open the content fragment console. So here you can edit the content. Whereas the simple fragment provides just only the text editor. But here you can predefine the structure for the fragment. You can provide this number also. So this way I can structure my content using this content fragment model functionality. Click on save and I can also get a new versions so this content fragment model is ready to use let's jump to the site console and let's use it in my page in my demo site now select the English page and click on edit here let's use the content fragment select this content fragment You can go here and here within the demo training we have content fragment and we have this CF model which we had created click on select now click on OK so now you can see the content of your new content fragment model I hope now you understand the term content fragment model in AM 6.4 thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching